Hey, what's up, guys? Back here for another video. This is going to be my top 10 date movies. I got some really good ones here to show you guys. So, starting first one is a movie with Mandy Moore into it. It's called The Walk to Remember. I really enjoyed this movie. Pretty sad at the end. I did tear up, I won't lie. But yeah, it's a really good movie. A lot of these movies that I'm going to show you guys, you guys pretty much know, so I'm not really explaining too much of them. The next one is actually another Nicholas Sparks movie, and that is The Notebook. I remember at first I was too iffy about watching this movie, but then when I actually did watch it, I actually enjoyed it. So, really cool uh, love story. Then we got a movie called Letters to Juliet. I really enjoyed this movie when I did watch it. It's been a while since I've seen this one, so I can't quite remember it too much. So I may have to rewatch it and talk about it in a What I Watched video. Then we got a classic one here. This is definitely a, a date movie. And that is The Breakfast Club. Pretty much about these kids that get, get like in detention and stuff and they're like all they're like all different like different people and stuff so it's a really cool movie you guys have seen it, you guys know what I mean but yeah I really enjoyed the Breakfast Club classic this movie right here this has Sandra Bullock into it and it's uh, all about Steve and in this one she pretty much plays like a, a stalker so it's really funny I remember when I did watch it I remember enjoying liking it but yeah. Then we got one with Katherine Hegel. Usually if I see movies with her too, I usually try to watch them all because I really l like her movies. This is The Ugly Truth and with Joy Butler into it. This is a really funny movie. It's really hilarious, especially with uh, the underwear uh, scene. But uh, if you guys know that scene, you guys know that part is really funny. But yeah. Uh, then we got one with Matthew McConaughey and Jennifer Garner, another actress that I love seeing in movies, and this is The Ghost of Girlfriend's Past. Like I said, this one I haven't seen in a long time, but I might have to re-watch it again and talk about it and what I watched, but that would be another really good one for a date night. And then we got another one that's kind of depressing too, and that is My Sister's Keeper. It's pretty much about uh, her sister. She's like, she's like, she, I think she's like dying or something. She, she needs to get like a like an organ or something from her sister. Her sister refuses not to give it to her or something. But yeah, it's a really good movie. It stars Cameron Diaz and Abigail Breslin. Abigail Breslin is another good actress. I like to see her in a lot of movies. When she's in movies, I'm pretty sure I always make sure to see them. So yeah. Then we got another classic one here, and that is Dirty Dancing. I'm not gonna explain this movie because a lot of you guys have seen it. But if you haven't seen it, you need to. Uh, if you have a spouse or something, be sure to put this movie in and watch it because it's really awesome. But, yeah. And then we got actually another one with Abigail Breslin doing. This is called Definitely Maybe. It's pretty much about. Ryan Reynolds, he's pretty much telling her the story about which one is a real mother, and you go by like three women on here. And it's a really, really good film. Like I said, I really like movies that have Abigail Breslin to it. I find she does a really good job in this in this movie and a lot of her movies. But yeah. So anyway, that is my top ten date movies. If you guys want to make a video. Tell me what your top 10 are. You guys can make a video, post it in the comments, I'll watch it. Or if you don't feel like making a video, you can just post the comments what your top 10 or even your top 5 if you wanted to. If you can only think of 5, you're more welcome to do 5 or 10. But like I would say, if you guys like these types of videos or all the videos I'm making, be sure to go and hit that subscribe button, be part of the fan nation. Make sure to comment, like, and I'll check you in the next one. And peace.